Hello and welcome back to day number 57 of my road to 200 kilogram total. Now for this week, I am taking a very much deserved deload week. Uh, after the grueling three weeks prior of training, especially with the back squat, the quadruple, the quadruples and the triples, it pretty much wrecked me to my core. And as you can see, I've actually lost. Well, not lost. I'm actually back to my goal weight of 73. That was the day upon waking up. Obviously, I'm heavier now since I've had a pretty big, big breakfast. And yeah, even though I ended the last week with, I ended the last session with pretty much a fail in the back squats, not even reaching the five reps, even on the first set. I still managed to come away with it with some insights and Fitz has told me yep the limiting factor really is strength there's not much of an issue with the technique it was just too heavy and too much pretty much yeah too much all in one and yep moving forward taking a deserved rest or deload week except the fun part is that I get to test out my rep maxes no sorry not rep maxes my 1rms for the snatch and the clean and jerk but oh and also test out what my max 5rm really will be so whether that's gonna be 125 or 127.5 we'll see or who knows maybe, or who knows maybe i'll be able to do 130 again if it's if i know that it's just for a single set uh, as you saw earlier with my banded activation, I'm, to fix the, well not really fix, but to help with the drive of the jerk because you all saw that my feet aren't the most, my ankle, ankles aren't the most, uh, what do you call that, aren't the most stable, especially during the drive of the jerk. It, my right foot, especially the front foot of the jerk is really egregious in how where it wants to go during the during the drive so you saw that i did some bad in the drive full drive so that was hip hip knee and ankle triple extension and really focusing on really finishing the drive basically right and now i'm also focusing a lot on planting the feet and being Planting the feet during the catch of the jerk, ah, uh, sorry, the catch of the snatch and the clean. So you'll see it here. Boom, yeah. This is actually also helping me with the pull under. Basically, a lot of my, a lot of the training that Fitz has put me through showed me what I needed to work on the most. So that was the pull under for the snatch and the clean and jerk and, oh, sorry. It's, the pull under for the snatch and the clean as well as more aggressive feet or planting of the feet and you guys saw that in my 105 kilo clean and jerk that that clean nearly buried me but if it wasn't because of the confidence i had in my uh due to being able to hit pretty heavy front squats i knew that once i stayed with that bar i can just pop it up from the from that position anyway Right, and now for the snatch. Snatches went great. Um, while I was, well, you can hear it in the background, but as I was snatching, I was also watching the warm up and the, no, not the warm up, the training of, uh, training video of Lu Zhao Jun and Tian Tao, and I believe Chen Li Jun on Squat Drug Journalist's YouTube channel. So, watching them snatch, even though I'm not trying to replicate their technique. It kind of uh, hearing the sounds of barbells dropping and hearing the grunts and all of that actually helped me mentally focus. I think it's most of the f mostly due to that's that competitive nature inside of me to do better, especially when there are people. And I think that's helped me a lot, for, especially with today's session. Right. So that was a single set of doubles. Then for the next three sets, I'll be doing singles. So let's just watch this 67 and a half. No, I, 
57 and a half kilos yet, yeah, sorry. Beautiful, kind of slow. Yeah, definitely maybe faster. Yep, and as you notice that uh that extent when I walk up to the bar and extend that's that's become my thing now. Alright. If I remember correctly, this was my best one. Yeah, there we go. That was good. And last set. Yep, that little left right. Okay. Planting the feet. Establishing the distance. Establishing my feet. Getting over the bar. Okay. Beautiful. There we go. That was good. The second one actually the second one was a lot easier because of the fact that I was able to pull under faster. So yeah, the pull under is really the pull under for both the snatch and the clean are just definitely the way to go if you want to get a heavier a better snatch and clean. You can't just power everything. Right, now for the clean and jerk, I'm focusing a lot more. I can actually I can now feel myself pulling I can now feel myself pulling under the bar when I'm doing during the catch portion of the clean which is amazing I never thought I'd be able to do that and as you saw that I'm I'm also implementing push presses so that I learn to finish the drive so here's the first set at 67 and a half again these are this is the load uh, slight jump a little higher than what I wanted feet oh I forgot that I needed to I needed a better foot positioning because I noticed in my if you've ever watched Clarence uh, Clarence Kennedy his older videos on how he clean and jerked where his toes just went out instead of pointing in yeah that's also my problem so I'm also fixing that better clean pop off the chest beautiful jerk now that's a good position feet pointed in back back knee bent all right now last set okay staying over the bar planting the feet boom good beautiful all right that one kind of uh the focus of bending the back knee actually made that look worse the so that's i think a timing issue because uh ideally when you land in that position it's the bar stiff you're not going downward any further right for the back squats again it's just 110 for three by three so i'm just absolutely this honestly didn't feel as light as i thought i thought that after um trying to squat 130 for a five I was able to do a set at three, a triples for 130. So I was surprised that this was also, it's moving better, but it still felt heavy. This was still very heavy. Right, second set, or was this, no, this is the third set, yeah. Last one, keeping the toes, keeping the knees out, and slightly came in again. Ooh, and I think this would end, aside from the back squat, this was actually the hardest part of the workout, so... Funny story, the... I was supposed to just do 12 of, with, of the evil wheels or ab rollouts. I... I was mistaken and I thought, and I accidentally did 15 rather than 12, so yeah, this first set pretty much wrecked me. But... I'm happy with how the form is going, straight arms. Uh, trying to go back, trying to go forward as much as I can without my hips drop, without my legs dropping down and maintaining this position. Oh yeah, it basically dropped after that rep. And I followed it up with some Russian twists. And basically, yeah, that's it. Hopefully this week, I'll be shooting for a 190 total, so 80, 110? Well, let's see. It's either 81.10 or 77.5 and 107.5 for a 185. So let's just see how that goes. Anyways, that's it for today's video. Thank you guys for watching.
Peace.